What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Psych Entertainment. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. Got the ambulance out. Got it all worked up. I painted the floors. Um, Try to clean up some of this other stuff and painted some other things. Um, but we'll talk about that another day because that's not too much. We still got some work to do on it. We got to play some wheel bearings and stuff in the front, um, which I got right here. We got the inner and outer bearings with the races and everything, so we need to do that. But that will be, again, for another day. But today... We got to address the issue from two weeks ago. The problem is our transmission. We need to figure out why we kept going from high gear back into neutral um, in the middle of the races. So we really take this thing down. I think we're going to take it to somebody. Um, have them help me look at it. Kind of teach me a little bit about them as well. Um, I might even do a complete rebuild on it. I'm not sure 100% yet. But we really need to figure out why this problem is here. So, we already got it out, obviously. Um, so, uh, I'll play the video of us getting it out. And then, we'll continue on from there. Um, but right now, we got it out. Uh, I might even take this side plate off. At least to see if maybe the shifting pin, I think is what it's called. There's a shifting pin and a fork in here. Um, that might be broke. Um, so, we'll probably check that. But, go ahead and watch me trying to remove this and uh then we'll uh we'll get into breaking the battery. Here we go with the same old thing like I said something just to ruin your mood and clip your wings I would buy you a diamond ring If you made me feel like you were queen and I were king God only knows that I'm better off being without you God only knows that I'm trying to do what I want to Sometimes you're a fire Got transmission over here. We got it sitting on a little oil catcher. There's gonna be transmission fluid and stuff in it, so it'll catch all that oil. Uh, but let's go ahead, tear into it, and see if we can figure out what in the world this problem is we have going on here.
All right, we got the top cover off with the side cover. Uh, this is looking down into it. So these, I believe, are the forks to change the gears. These are the shifting pins going across the inside of them. Uh, those are what we need to look at to see why we're not getting the gear shifted. Um, looking at it right now, it don't look like anything's broke. But until we kind of get involved and see what's going on in here, we guess we really won't know. So I'm just going to mess with it a little bit, see what it does, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So. And we're back roughly three weeks now we haven't made any film well haven't posted any film but we're back um, the videos that you've all seen before at this point have been trying to get the transmission figured out um, we did not go racing last weekend it was the uh, 5,000 to win late model races um, which they got rained out and we didn't get to go to the um, paid appreciation night because we were still having troubles with the transmission, which hopefully has been fixed. And the problem is right here with the direct drive fork. Uh, I'm sure you can see it. I'll post some pictures too, but you can see where it's worn on both sides of the fork. It's got a pretty good step up. Kind of hard to see but pretty much I, I'm, I'm hoping we, we got a new fork in we also got some new parts to try instead of what we had um, one thing we had was these shifter rods with the Himes um, and we're gonna try these ones they're the same shifter rods but instead of the regular Himes they got these forks with the pin through them so that's what we're gonna try so you got the transmission back it's been gone for about a week and a half, two weeks. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back in and put everything back together um, and see where we go from there. So let's go ahead and get this transmission back in. Got the transmission in. We need to get the drive shaft, get that put in, bolt it up, and then we'll go ahead and work on the linkages after it. But so the transmission's in. We still gotta hook up the uh, the the uh, clutch hose, um, clutch line. We need to hook that up still. But we're gonna go ahead and put the drive shaft in um, so that we have that done. Get it bolted up to the rear end and uh, go from there.
put the drive shaft in. Got transmission in. We're gonna change these out. These linkage. You take them off and remeasure them uh, from center of the shifter to the hinds of the transmission. You can't really see them, but right there. Um, and we're gonna put the new ones on. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, we did get new. Uh, we got new style or newer style. We got these 20 inch rods, which we have to trim down. And then we got these forks with the hime on them or forks with the pin on them. So we're gonna head measure these out. We might have to retap or cut and retap them um, and then put them back on. But I'm gonna go ahead and measure those off, see what we got and uh, go from there. After a little bit of research, we're gonna have to do one of two things. Either I'm gonna take this in, trim it down, retap it, and make it smaller, or I'm gonna have to move my shifter lever back. Cause right now, my lever or my shifting linkage is about 15 inches. One's 15, one's 16 inches, which it's not right. Um, away from the Bertrand's uh, Himes. So either I, like I said, either I move the shifter back to where it's 20 inches or I cut this and trim it, I'm not too sure. But we got the transmission in, we got the pail housing in, I need to put trans fluid in. Um, other than that, I mean really, we're kinda, we're kinda at a standstill until I figure out what to do with this. I'm not too sure quite yet, I might ponder on it a little bit tonight and see what I need to do. Um, but other than that, that's that's probably going to be it for this video. The um, plan is to be racing this weekend at Florence Speedway for Dollar Days again. I believe it's Dollar Days again this weekend, I want to say. Uh, but I will put that somewhere up in the video and I'll put it down in the description too too. Um, when that will be and what it is. But Florence Speedway is the goal for this weekend. Um, I'm going to try to keep an eye on the weather because it's just the weather's been killing racing season this year so far so i'm gonna leave it at that uh sorry for the long awaited video again um but uh we're, we're making progress hopefully this fixes a lot of our issue from practice um and in the first race um, which obviously i didn't film be it with the transmission slipping out of gear um and then hopefully these help to make it a little bit easier to shift but uh other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps. And I will see you, hopefully, with a race day vlog. Or I'll put a small, small video up when we figure out what to do with this. And then we'll get ready for Saturday. But have a great time. Uh, if I don't see you guys before the weekend, I will see you after the weekend. And have a great rest of your night, weekend, day whatever it is for you, and I'll catch you in the next one.